Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Maria and our Order of Monster Hunting Nuns. And in between episodes I looked around a little bit for potential alliances and I noticed that our biggest obstacle is our dynasty's level of splendor. Because we are at the absolute bottom of the level of splendor. So um, we need to fix the other ones instead because we can't really control this considering our children can't really marry because they're nuns they're not really known for marrying uh, we do have the uh, hospital of saint cecilia which is helpful because that is two of our renown per month so yeah otherwise we would be making 0 0.6 so thankfully we have that at least but we instead have to kind of uh, no uh, we are instead going to have to fix our opinion and get our military strength. And military strength we're gonna get from just conquering stuff. Which we're gonna continue to conquer Holland, but right now we have a five year truce, so we're gonna keep picking county by county Holland apart. Uh, but while we wait for that, we can start swaying this guy because I think we can at least get like. Uh, I think the top is like 25. So we can at least get to like negative three. So we only need to increase our military a little bit as long as we manage to sway him. Um, and uh, we're also kind of waiting for our piety to get to faithful because we right now we can't do holy wars for duchies which we really want because right now we only can we can only take like county by county which is very annoying because i kind of like want to just take frisia but we can't because well we have to take it one county at a time and that's really annoying so we're not gonna do that but for now i think we can just unpause start swaying let the the truce timer tick down and just keep going and how long was this building it will be done pretty soon so let's just speed up and nothing much is happening actually do we have anything yeah right it's just disabled buildings and we are gonna lose land if one of our vassal styles of this guy oh it's gonna go to these guys I guess which is very annoying you better stay alive you're melancholic, that's not helpful. You stay alive, you... You stubborn old fool. Yeah, you were stubborn. I thought I saw, saw something like that. Oh, and I think that was the sound effect of this being done. Excellent. And... We don't... Huh, we're not doing great on money. Because I kind of want to make this... Actually, how long would that take to pay off? So let's round up to to one per three months. So 300 months plus another 30. So no, plus... No, wait. Plus another like 100. So that's 400 months, which is how many years? 40-ish? Less than 40? That's a long time, but I mean 40 years... We are gonna hold this for 40 years, so it's gonna pay for itself eventually. So, Sway, getting personal. In our recent communications, Rector Aignan of Oculidae ex expressed a want to focus on his ambitions and interests more. I could make sure that our coming letters contain more on a topic close to his heart. I mean, I would think that he is all about intrigue, because he has so much intrigue. So, surely he enjoys subterfuge and intrigue. His response, in his response, Rector Aignan of Ocular Day encouraged my slight dip into, a more, into more personal topics. Now I just have to keep pretending that I know anything about intrigue. Well, I doubt the truth because we do not know much about intrigue. So, that at least got another 10, which is great. So, that will put us at 23. Excellent, and our military strength is increasing, so... We only need four more. It is close. Excellent. And swaying is done. Good. Oh, and we can canonize Mother Teresa, but 
honestly, we can't really afford that right now. And can we... That's not enough right now. Two away. That is so close. So we can stop swaying because... Oh, that's not how we do it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Abandon. Good. Because this is gonna decay pretty slowly and we're way above 100, so we're fine. Uh, what was I thinking? Yeah, we're not gonna canonize Mother Teresa right now because, well, that's all of our money and we kind of want to invest that to get more money. Gotta spend money to make money. So, good. Ooh, event. What do you want? Finest raiments in the land. Simkin Cotter. Mostly because... Uh, mostly because they ain't from this land. Rude. What are you saying about our clothes? Well, I guess we're nuns. We're not known to having the most fun outfits. Uh, Shortles Enric, as I walk past his open chamber, his voice oozes charm, but even so, my other courtier seems unsure of, of the pitch. Almost new, just as good as new, and fresh from the uh, trendsetters in Proconsul Julia Antasia's court. These are what everyone in the Kingdom of East Francia will be wearing next season. My, those looks enticing. Uh, we don't need this foreign nonsense in my court, which I tend to agree with. And that is, that is perfect, because we don't give a shit what people wear, we're, we're nuns. We have a uniform. And we get some free prestige from it. I am perfectly happy with that. And... Preach the peasant. I thought that was... Wasn't that the building sound effect? No? I guess that was just... Something else. Or did we build something here? Oh, we did! So it was the building, building uh, sound effect. And we're gonna build this as well. And this is coming alo along very slowly. We're not even done converting this. Although, yeah, okay, we have... It. it wasn't that long ago since we conquered that, so that makes sense. So, let's see. Oh! I haven't noticed, noticed this. Or did this happen last time and I didn't think about it? Hey! Someone learned... Our daughter learned Italian. With the hunting faithful beset from every corner, uh, corner by blasphemers, Grand Inquisitor Batista Marzone has decided that it is time for all warriors of God to pick up arms and defend their sacred grounds by planning a magnificent campaign of religious conquest. So we can start crusading. Well, we can't just yet. He has to actually call a crusade. But he's gonna call a crusade soon. So hopefully we get a good one and... Uh, Let's hope people are actually gonna help with it, because it's unfortunate if we're the only one actually doing anything. Especially since these guys are really strong. Like, look at that army. That's some nice army. I'm guessing you don't wanna ally. No, I thought so. Um, you are about our strength, I would say. You are... Well, I guess inferior because they do have fewer champions. How about you? You might actually want to ally, because you're not that far away. I wish you were a little bit weaker, I guess. <laughs> oh man, that Splendor is biting us in the A. God dang it. Well, we can almost ally those at least, so that's pretty nice. And wait, what task, task was finished? Court Chaplain Nicola de Arzenzo, God's Mercy of Sisters of St. John has finished the con- Oh, the conversion is done. That's what's, what was done. Good. Ruse Forests. Oh, and we finished the building. Good. Now we just need control so we get actual um, benefits from those buildings. But we are gonna get it eventually. Along with their strange goods, merchants bring tall tales from distant lands, unverifiable, full of wonder. A group of Franconian peddlers support, uh, purport that to have brought Marathi objects, said to have come from the faraway courts of a great ruler, King Kian of Kar Karnata, no less. Albrecht, the leading trader, grins darkly. This unique sword could be yours, for a special price, of course, great directrix. A likely yarn indeed, if only I had some way to verify this hawker story, and, I mean, we're not getting a damn fake vampire sword when we have the freaking Sword of Arthur. Some 
Uh, some uh, lake tramp threw it at us, and now we are queen. And we can just keep going, because we're waiting for... Oh! What do we got here? Richard has weave inspiration. He wants to weave something glorious. So, how good are you? Does it say... The skill is merely decent, but we don't have much uh, to do with artifacts, so... Um, it is kind of expensive. And it's likely to be absolute garbage. We'll leave that be for now. Let's put that away. Let's keep the time pass. Event. Alternative reading. There's a lot of stuff happening. In a dusty corner of the library, I find find a tome, bound in leather and inscribed with a, with a weird symbol, partially hidden behind other books. It's old, but, but has obviously seen some recent use. As I leaf through it, I quickly come to realize that it, it, it deals with some unconventional knowledge. Interesting. I glance around before sitting down to read. Oh, extra learning. Or, burn it! Um, I mean, I don't know what one... Learning is gonna do for us five years. If it was permanent, then sure, but five years is not a long time. I don't think it's worth worth it. I think we're just burn it for a hundred piety. Excellent. And one more year until we can actually we can't do it now, can we? Whoa, no, that's the guy. He looked like someone else. Wait, is he? Are we not? Do we not have a truce with him? Yeah, we do. So... Why does it say... Huh. Okay, I'm gonna wait out the truce anyway, because we're supposed to like lose fame and shit. Ooh! The hunter hunted. For some time now, you're... Entourage is abuzz with rumors of immortal hunting canines around your area. Obviously, immortals have little luck in, in this endeavor most of the time, especially when they go the lone wolf road, as this individual uh, seemed to do. What is interesting is that, despite all these flaws, this hunter has shown some early success, and many dark alleys are safer because of him. He is elusive though, and you are really unsure of where he will strike next, or even if he will at all. But you could keep agents close to the ground in an attempt to track him down if you wanted. Um, so I'm pretty sure these guys are like amazing champions. So I think 50 gold is worth it. And they're like potentially excellent uh, courtiers and stuff like that. Yeah, look at this guy. 42 and like really good stats. I wish you were a woman though. Because then we could have ordained you. Which would have been Excellent, but uh, you're 40. That's unfortunate. Well, hopefully you'll live to see old age as long as we can recruit you, that is. You found him. This elusive hunter is one Karl Schrecht from Vienna. A man of few words. He, has, he was difficult to track down and even more difficult to assess. The zeal of God's fury burns inside of him. That is plain to see, but... It is tainted by bitter bitterness that makes him unaware of the suffering he causes during his hunts. You fear that his soul is on the brink and God's army will lose an impressive man if his faith falters even more. Perhaps you can remind him of the glory of God and show him the virtues of working in a coherent group. It will be, an ha it, uh, be a hard debate though, as the man is nothing if not stubborn. So, we have a... 59% chance of him just joining, a 35% chance of him joining, and we lose a, b uh, well, not a bunch, we lose some piety. The same amount of piety of burning a book, I guess. <laughs> and 4% chance that he leaves. So, it is very likely. Now it seems like we should have gotten that, uh, <laughs> that learning, because it would have helped this skill check a little bit. Or we just let him leave. But I say... 60% is fine, and I would gladly pay 100 piety to get this guy as a champion for a, at least a couple of years. And... Hoop. Yeah, we got him. And... Wait, why did I learn about that? Why, why would I care about what some Tremere gross wizard does? Okay, well, 
Um, he was, let's see. Where is he? He had a lot. Yeah, there he is. So, he's an excellent marshal. He's an excellent steward. So, I guess we make him a steward. We don't really care about that guy. We just wa don't want him to die because he... He's gonna give away land if he does. So, that's fine. Let him hate me. I don't care. And he's an excellent champion. Oh, who are you fighting? Oh, everyone. Oh, well, isn't that neat? We could try to take something from him, like Northamptonshire. It's not a great thing, actually. It is decent. These seem to be fighting for it, so it's not that great anyway. But we need to expand anyway, so how about we grab that because they seem to be fighting over that so I don't mind having Northamptonshire let's do it oh and our new guy is our champion and who are you and why would we wait you're fighting You're fighting against uh... no, okay. So just some uh, some guy in his court is actually. Let's ignore him because we don't want to take unnecessary fights because that's how we lose units unnecessarily. Because well, because it's unnecessary, and he should not be very good at defending. He probably has some really strong knights, but he's fighting other people. And uh, he's taking a lot of damage. And hopefully we can get some uh, prisoners here. Because I have... Oh, we are losing a lot of money while, when we have our full army risen. That is... Damn. Um, let's go take that. And don't fight them. Good. Just take the high value stuff. Are we going to have to fight... No, good. Good, 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 good. Far from home, a stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for weeks. Uh, for a week, my liege... Oh, that was something someone was saying. My guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Eric, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you will allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. So... Why do you have a vampire faith? I mean, I don't mind having people around. That, I mean, having families around will benefit us, but I need you to convert. Embrace God, and this will be your home. Good. And his family converts. Good. Yeah. Welcome. The more the merrier. I want as many people as I can that just... Gives us uh, potential good people. Oh, um, as for money, we're just gonna grab the normal amount because I don't want to risk not getting anything right now. Um, we will deal with that later because right now we don't have... Oh, and the court is available. Let's invite prospects because we have plenty, plenty of piety. Plentily. Oh, that's a good stewardship. You are great. Ordain you. How are we doing a stress, by the way? Should we do something about that? I think we should. We should write down our thoughts. We are going to lose a little bit of diplomacy because we're occupied with writing. That is fine. Bring me my journal and we will lose 14 stress. It's not a lot, but it's something. We just need to get rid of a bit of stress. Could call a hunt. Lose some, lose some stress from that. We get some prestige. Uh, we don't have enough servants though, so... <laughs> oh, that's expensive. Yeah, so I think we're fine with the... Um, with the stress loss. We're at 38, that's good enough. So, let's hold court. We'll finish this war soon enough. Sitting on... No, oh, just, just... I always start reading this, but... 
It's just the same thing every time, so it's fine. First petitioner. Marshal Inquisitor Edward is hanging out with... Hanging us. Is hanging us. <laughs> okay. Let's restart that. Marshal Inquisitor Edward is hanging us, hounding us. We, we could keep order, my lady. Please. We can organize ourselves without all the death. A peasant man from the county of Holland, an area plagued by unrest, assured me that control can be restored without undue bloodshed. Ooh, is this, this is gonna give us some good control, I think. Control plus 20. Excellent. <laughs> off the noose for a bit. That is fucking gruesome. Uh, increased presence. Ooh, that's a lot of growth per month, though. That's gonna, like, really quicken this. And here's what you do with this. I mean, 10 years is, uh, like, in one year, there's gonna be 8.4. And 10 years is, well, 84. So, plus the natural and plus our martial. So this is gonna fix that in no time. The popular opinion is a little annoying, but I think we can, we're fine with it. Although, we can get a plus 20 right away. Let's see, how how are we doing with the control? Seems to be about 40 something. Yeah, 47. Maybe it's fine to just take the 20. Get the popular opinion. Actually, how is the popular opinion? Can we take a big old hit? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna like anger them too much because I don't want a bunch of uprisings. That's gonna be annoying. So, I think we're just gonna ask him to chill. You're not my Inquisitor. Ah, he uh, he absolutely loves us, so it's fine if he loses some opinion. Curious. A thin, raggedy, a thin raggedy peasant stands before me, gawking at the opulence of my throne room. Obviously distracted, I call him to get his attention. Okay, just reading that sentence makes me think that it's Doctor Who. Because every time I hear raggedy, I just think raggedy man from uh, Doctor Who. And, uh, I mean... I gotta say that that uh, that description does sound like him, um, but oh, I'm sorry, my lord. I uh, my village in Holland was hit by a blight this year. We lost not only our crops but our seeds too. We have nothing, and we will starve without your help. Glancing around my throne room, and he adds, "Surely you have wealth to spare. How dare you!" Um, let us establish a crop sharing system with neighboring villages. Oh, that sounds excellent. Popular opinion. Development, that sounds awesome. Some grandeur, meh, meh. We can't get free labor, or we can improve our army. But no, this sounds excellent. Crop sharing, we get popular opinion and development. Great. Two of my vassals are pushing one another and jostling to reach my throne first. Baron Bennett be bows before me. My lady, murder is wanton in the city streets uh, throughout the of St. John. I would... It would be civilizing if we instituted a ban on townspeople bearing arms, at least within city limits. Inquisitor Rag Ragnhard von Achenbach kicks him out, out of the way. Safety is each man's learning to protect himself. Banning carry, uh, banning carry of weaponry will castrate the townspeople. Um, we can ban it or we can have a debate where they fight it out. Oh, I don't want this guy to die, though, because we lose his county if uh, he dies. So, him being wounded... Oh, actually, it's 0% that he gets wounded. What are, what are you, some kind of idiot? Yeah, okay, he's weak. He's he's a baron, so he's we're not going to lose anything if he... Yeah, you know what? Whoever wins gets to... Uh, <laughs> gets to decide. Well, would you look at that? A hundred percent. Who would have thought he would win? Excellent. So, how's our war going? Good. Um, we're gonna try to not fight too much, but if we have to. So, if we have to fight, we're only gonna fight the blue flag. Oh, there they are. Oh, they are sieging our capital. I didn't notice that. Good thing I saw these guys landing, because we're gonna go at... Why'd you disband? No, okay, you. I think you landed, but it looked like you disbanded. But this is gonna be an easy fight. We're gonna get a lot of war score from this, because we might just... Nah, we're not gonna stack wipe them, but we are gonna kick the shit out of them. So that's awesome. 
That's a good win. Let's go over to Le Leicestershire. And uh, see where they run. I think they're gonna hang out in not uh, not uh, Nottinghamshire, and we can just fight them here. It's fine. We should. Oh, and there's the Inquis. No, not Inquisition. There's the Crusade. Glorious news has reached my court. Grand Inquisitor Batista Marzoni has decided that it's time for all righteous Inquisitors to unite under a single banner and march against the enemies of the faith in a crusade for the glory of God. To all those who will join this sacred quest, the Rector ensures a place in heaven. I mean, yeah, I guess we're gonna finish this war first, but yeah, bring it. Let's go crusading. We just need to kill these vampires. Where are we crusading? Oh, the Kingdom of England. And so far only we have... Oh, that is... That's not good. Only we... Have done this, so... If no one starts joining, we are gonna have to withdraw. I mean, he's got a hundred. Right now we're fighting Mithras and this guy, but I mean... Mithras is the real threat. This guy doesn't have anything left, really. Okay, they're gonna keep running a little bit. So let's uh, try to siege this. Oh, you absolute bastards. This is gonna be annoying, isn't it? We're gonna have to take this back. We'd oh, we did get a breach. Oh, we got a large breach. Excellent. But they are out of the picture, it seems. And we're gonna have to take this back. But they shouldn't have too many garrisons, so that should be okay. A new light. As the, bre as the beating heart of the Shadow Inquisition, the Sisters of St. John has a heavy burden that is not easy uh, shared easily. Despite this, you are confident in your new pupil's ability. Oh, it, we finished the training. This period of uh, third training, another bride of God is, uh, is ready to take on your mantle if or when the darkness overtakes you. A small comfort, but a comfort nonetheless. So, how are we on stress? We're gonna be fine. And you were a steward, right? Yeah. So, we're gonna give you stewardship. Just to maximize that, because you are probably gonna be a steward in the future. Oh, what the shit? Who are you? Why are you, ri why are you rising up? Is this... Oh, I didn't even notice uh, us having a thing. Oh, it's just the rabble. Okay. Um, go fuck yourself. Did he instantly lose? Okay. Oh, that's that's great, I guess. <laughs> How are we doing on this? Oh, someone joined. Um, it's the... Wait, are you the Sword of St. James? No, you're the Cypriots. I hope the Sword of St. James and these guys join as well so we have some people close by. Imprisonment, Arnold. You're trying to imprison a spawn of devil, Arnold, but the leeches, leeches are unlikely to let servants of God catch them. What should you do? I will rip him apart. That is very likely. Oh, he's, he's not half bad. Oh, he's a vampire. That was a vampire uprising. Edward will teach him his place. Uh, that will lower the chance of us being injured. And that is even, even lower chance. So let's, uh, let's, actually, I will do it personally. Yes, good. Uh, we can find his lair, <laughs> but I don't think we care enough about him. He is, uh, nobody. Oh, we have a couple of these people. So Dirk. Random evil atheist. Well, I guess I know why he's imprisoned. He's just some guy. Um, I guess we can ransom him. He is... Wait. Can't ransom him? He has moved to dungeon and then ransom? No? Okay. How about you? You're also just some dude. Why can't we ransom them? Fine. Execution. We lose some stress. Kill him. 
And hey, you lose some stress. <laughs> this guy, he is a vampire though. Burn him. And hey, this is actually an excellent way of getting some renown. Nice. Burn him. And he is also a vampire, so burn him. Excellent. Get some piety, get some and get some uh, renown. It's very good. And we are done with the siege. We need to keep sieging stuff. They don't have a lot, but it's not empty. And that's even more so. Let's just... I don't like that they're taking this, but we're gonna go and take it back as soon as we can. How are we doing on this? Still, well, we've got some from Oculi Day, but I think this is just... Oh. Okay. Oh, we don't have a beneficiary. Um, I guess... Are they gonna get the, like, Kingdom of... Of England from this if we win. Okay, so I actually had to pause for a little bit and go and look up how crusading actually works because I haven't done it for a long time now because I mostly played uh, Prince of Darkness and some other conversion mods so I haven't actually crusaded for a long time and uh, the thing that really bugged me is that it says the Kingdom of England and the problem with that is that if we win this, and I appoint a beneficiary, and we give it to someone, uh, some of my heirs or something, that means that the entirety of the Kingdom of England will belong to our heir. And, uh, I mean, we don't want to switch to another person, because I want to play as Maria. This is the story about her, and all of that fun stuff. And if we're gonna get England at that point, we either have to wait for enough of them to die and not have children, so we eventually inherit it, or we start murdering them, or we fight them in wars. And I don't really want to do any of those things. So I feel like our best option is to just redirect the war. Because this launches in five months, and uh, either we lose this on purpose, which we could do, we are outnumbered, and um, they probably have some really strong champion, so we can probably lose this if we want to, but that will hurt us a lot. And uh, it feels... it doesn't feel like it's in character. We still want to do some crusading and like fight for God and all that fun stuff. So I figure let's just redirect the war. We'll get a beneficiary and um, I mean that's also another uh, like Inquisition... Uh, Inquisition sect or faction, or whatever we want to call it, that can help us and ally with us, especially since uh, it will be probably be one of our daughters, hopefully, if we do well in the crusade, that can ally us and help us in our wars. So, where do we want to fight? Uh, there's Lotharingia, which is a very big area, close by, and uh, we would probably lose that, though, <laughs> because uh, Hardestad is very strong. Uh, Romagna, do we care about that? That's... Uh, far away. We could go for like something of our... Uh, oh! Uh, we could go for something like a holy site, like Galicia, which we just got to. It is very small, but we have a holy site there. Let's... What actually, what... Uh, what holy site do we have there? Or... Wait, did you...? No. It just looked like it was part of the Inquisition because it was kind of the same color, but no, it's not. Um, Holy Order higher cost, negative 10%, which I don't think it's going to do much for us right now. Do we have any Holy Orders? Nope. I figured maybe they put some in and I just haven't noticed, but... Night Supply Duration isn't that impressive either, but still, we want the Holy Sites, so maybe Galicia. That is not a bad choice, actually. Uh, we have the Eastern Lords, which is very big and very far away. East Francia, which is, again, the problem with Hardestad. Uh, Arabia is f very far away. Uh, there it is. Well, oh, of course it's there. Grand Court, that should be the France. Yeah, so... Let's... Uh, 
I like going for Galicia. It's gonna be a pretty maybe easy war. Maybe not. But let's just redirect it. We have a lot of piety. And yeah. <laughs> That's not a lot of defenders. So, I mean, if these guys join in, we might just not get there in time. But we also need to give it to one of our beneficiaries. Well, one of our daughters. And I guess we can have it as this lady. This is the one we recently... Like, made our child, right? I think so. So, let's make her our beneficiary. And let's see if we can finish this war really quickly. We also need to finish this siege. And we need to take this back. Uh, what? Who the shit? Oh! So, Utrecht just declared on us. That is very annoying. So, let's call in everyone on that, then. Well, that's, that's very annoying. I wanted to go crusading. Is this going to stop me from crusading? Let's see. How does this look? It's just six champions and a bunch of levies. A couple of men-at-arms. We don't have a lot left, actually. We've lost a lot of levies, but... We have some pretty good champions now, at least. So that's nice. But with some... Uh, some people joining, I think our allies might be able to just take that. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Oh. Oh, god dang it. Just get out of here. Why are you camping that? Why, why are you sitting there? What possible benefit can you have from that? Seriously. Okay, well, we're gonna siege this. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Go go and deal with those guys. I was hoping you could do that by yourself. And not go and... You're just going and giving me a bunch of... Of... Uh, damn attrition. You bastards. Okay. At the end of my spy master Simpkins Cotter's latest report, he pauses for a moment. There is something you should know about your champion, Sir Robert Berniers and Elizabeth... Ar are engaged in an illicit affair. How dare they? She's a nun. No, she's not. She's... She's a poxy, treacherous villain who's sadistic, gregarious, and <laughs> lazy. Okay, so I don't think she fits in with us. But I mean, if... Wait, I thought... Isn't this our... No. We had some other guy. I, I think he used to be our marshal, maybe. I don't know. Either way, um, if he wanna hook up with some pox-ridden lady, then who am I to say no? But, I mean, he's not a nun, so who cares? Crusade for Galicia. The time has finally come to consecrate the grounds of Galicia with the blood of the infidels and claim this land for the glory of God. Our holy warriors march with the certainty that whether they emerge victorious or die fighting against unbelievers, their devotion will earn them the, a place in heaven. God is with us. Very good. So. Uh, that's Galicia. Oh, they actually got some more people. Good for them. Who are we? For? Okay, there's a lot of small people <laughs> around. And Galicia. But Galicia is... No, that's uh, specifically just Galicia. I thought there was... Uh, like, two countries here, but... Or two... Realms, I guess you would call it. But I guess not. And please stop just... Mosh pitting on me. Go do something fun. Okay, fine. Don't then. Um, okay, so they are gonna take this. Or at least siege it, but... They kind of have to come and actually fight me. And as long as we have our allies here, we should be 100% fine. And what happened to your army, dude? This is... This is sad. Okay, let's get these guys off. Oh, more people. Welcome, welcome. And... He's done. So, how... 
along with this take. Actually, we're gonna see how long it takes next episode because this is starting to go long. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And next time we're gonna do some crusading and we're gonna finally finish this war. This has been an annoying war, but we'll... I think we'll win. So, bye-bye.